Look at this beauty. It's been a while since I've seen this car and it looks totally different. You guys may remember we had an S13 completely stock, nothing. It was completely stock, nothing done to it at all. We imported it and uh, I sold it to Tommy. Well, Tommy has created an absolute masterpiece out of it. In case you haven't been following the build, go over to his channel and check it out. This thing is insane. It's the best way I can describe it. It just looks amazing. And he's gonna give it away. Sad. Wish he'd give it away to me. Guess I'll have to go buy merch. Anyway, if you win this car, congratulations, because this is one sweet machine. Everything has been redone and replated. And it's a very uh, OEM quality build. I really, really do enjoy seeing these cars in person. They're so nice and clean after Tommy's guys get done with it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire it up. We're going to do a nice little tune on it. This is basically my last time I'm going to get to enjoy the car. So at least I'm getting to tune it and turn the boost up a little. So come along with me for the ride. All right, so we just got done. We just made some pulls. I'm not telling them what I made because they got to go to your channel to see, but if it you did want, good. I'll give you a secret. The first number starts with a six. <laughs> 60. 60. Hey. 60 <laughs> anyway, this car runs really good. I'm impressed with it. I want to take it down and see how it feels. Dude, you need to overlay the video that you made on this car. Oh, yeah. Because you yeah. made a video on uh, Yeah, car. when it was completely stopped. So here's a real treat. Another car we just got in, and this one's kind of special, and I'll tell you why. So, this is a 1995 180SX. Um, doesn't seem like a very interesting car, but for those of you who are looking for one, you might, you might want to get this one. So this car got jumped off of Elsie's jump. Yeah. I had to replace all the suspension. I didn't have to, but I... Thought it'd be best to replace all the suspension. Got Fair. oil over, spool type X kit, freshen up the motor, new oil pump. All that, and you're just gonna give it away. Just give it away. What the hell? I get to experience a 180SX type X, is which it, I always wanted. And, and is I this still the merch for it? Or? This is. Oh my god, that's it's pretty cool. I don't even have that. No. I gotta get. Oh god. When's, it, when's the giveaway? Now. Damn! But it ends either January 1st or December 1st. Oh, okay, it's not over yet. It's not over. I have a chance. Wait, you have a chance. I have a chance. Well, I probably don't have a chance because... And hopefully, since you're the guy backing off the dyno, you do win it if you do fuck it <laughs> up. Because okay. this, this thing is long. Well, I'll try not to. Let's get it off now and take it down. Here's an update on the R34 GTR project. We've got the stroker in its hole, and we are going to go ahead and start hooking everything up to it. So, motor is in on the cradle, hooked up. Uh, this is the first step. This is a long process that we're just going to take our time with and make sure we get everything the way we want it to. But uh, things are happening. For those of you who didn't see the video, this is a very special motor from HKS. This is a step three. It is the very first step three from HKS, and uh, we've got some really cool goodies that are going on to it. So go check out the uh, last R34 video if you want to see what's going on to it, and stay tuned to see first startup. And we're going to get into tuning and putting all the other goodies on it. We've got suspension stuff, exhaust stuff, so it's, it's going to be a process. We've got some piping that needs to be fabricated. We've got a lot of stuff that has to happen before we get to that point. but. Uh, we are getting there, so that's kind of exciting. This is uh, the holidays, so it's the, I want to call it, it's the new year. It is, so happy new year to everybody. Uh, and we're, we're going to be bringing in some new projects after we get that stuff done. We've got some more in the pipeline that are coming in. And uh, basically, though, we've just been taking it easy. I've been spending some time with family at home and just kind of enjoying the holidays. So hope you guys are doing the same thing. Uh, Anyway, enough about that. I got some cool stuff I want to show you at the house. 
Uh, I got myself a little Christmas present, so let's go home and check it out. All right, we're back at the house. We're in the hobby room, in case you didn't realize it. Here's the, hey, you guys have seen this RC car before on the channel. Um, that's not what this is about, but I know I'm gonna get some questions about it. So this is a, a no prep RC car that I built a while back. It's really a sweet car. We'll get more into this another time because uh, I'm actually gonna try out some new stuff. I made some, some changes on it. It's lighter, it's faster, it's everything. Uh, but anyway, what I wanna show you is in this box. This is really cool. So this is another one of my hobbies. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got a, a million hobbies, obviously. And one of them is lasers. So I like handheld lasers. I've been playing with them for, for years. Uh, they, they are pretty dangerous, so you have to kind of be careful with what you do. But uh, this is a really cool one I wanted to show you guys because this is my first blue laser. So this bad boy is something to behold, literally. So this is a five watt laser. This is pretty strong. This is gonna be able to burn stuff and create a beam that's very visible. Let's test it out. I put these batteries in it. These batteries are kind of weak, but they're the ones that it came with. So I'm just gonna show you. I'll turn this light off here just so you can see. Look at that. Oh my God, that is awesome. You definitely need eye protection with this bad boy. You do not wanna be staring at that dot. Um, without eye protection. And the good thing is, is it comes with some eye protection. It's not the greatest, but it works. So this cancels out the, the, the blue, so you can look at it for a while if you're, you know, burning stuff or whatever you're, whatever you're doing, if you're dropping them on the ground like I just did. That's what happens. But uh, anyway, really cool. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. We'll, we'll get this thing out at night. I wanna go shoot it in the, in the dark. And, and see, you gotta be real careful though. You don't wanna shoot a plane with this. You don't wanna shoot animals with it. You can really damage someone's eyes really quick. It burns stuff. We're gonna pop some balloons. We're gonna light some stuff on fire. So uh, let's wait for the nightfall to do that. But man, what a cool laser. These are, are getting better as time goes by. Um, when I first got into lasers, you had to pay big money to get anything close to a watt. Uh, and, and the prices have considerably gone down. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I decided to get this. Back in the day, there was this company called Wicked Lasers. They had like this Arctic laser. This is like the closest thing to that. And it, this thing is just super strong. I love seeing it, uh, seeing that visible beam. I've got green lasers. I've got red lasers. And now I've got a blue laser. Uh, I've got lasers on my guns. I got all kinds of cool stuff with lasers. So Hopefully you guys are into them as well. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun. So let's wait for the sun to go down. Nighttime. All right, let's try this laser out. Man, this thing's like a lightsaber. Look at that. Wow. Super cool. That'll put an eye out. All right, we got a couple of tests we're gonna try here. We got some matches. We'll try and light those off with this, see how it does. And then we've got a balloon over here across the room. So if it can pop that balloon from over here and light these matches, that's a pretty powerful laser. Here's our match. See if this is any match for our laser. <laughs> Get it? A match? Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Okay, so it lights the match, no problem. Now the balloon, let's see what we can do. Wow, fast. Holy moly. So that is a pretty impressive laser. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about that because these high power lasers you couldn't get these not too long ago. 
So I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on that. It's cool. It comes with some protective eyewear as well to play around. But uh, if you get one of these, please <laughs> be careful. That's really strong. You can pop a balloon from really far away, I'm sure. We'll have to do a test outside and see if we can do it from like 100 feet or so. I'm sure it will. Um, but the match, you lit that match, no problem as well. That's really cool. And I've got some other ones. Let me go get my other ones just to show you a comparison. Uh, they're much weaker than this, but still a really cool little uh, toy to have. So here's a couple of the other ones that we have. I've got, this is a pretty decently powered red laser, as you can see, 248 milliwatts. So about 250 milliwatts. Another 200 milliwatt. You can see these are, you know, not as impressive as that big boy because the big boy has... A beam that you can see. This green's got a little beam you can see here. I mean, barely. At night, you can really see it. We go outside with it. Green's, you know, good, but this is only a, let's see, this is not that strong. This is a 30 milliwatt, so it's not even that strong. Uh, but I use this one for, for my gun sight. So this is like for, for tactical use. And uh, the crazy beam on this is insane. I love seeing that. So, really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy that little demonstration. And we'll have a little more fun with it. Let me know if you guys have lasers yourselves. And uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Talk about my new pit vipers here. Sick.